I'm Kerry Melke, the Chief of Staff at Shriners Hospital for Children, Twin Cities. A limb length discrepancy means there's a difference usually in the height of your legs, but actually could be the height of your arms as well. The cause of it is varied. Uh, sometimes you're born with abnormalities in your arms or legs that le lead to limb length difference. Sometimes you can develop it from infection or a fracture or other trauma that involves the growth plates of the leg or arm leading to a limb length inequality. Well, a lot of times it's first diagnosed or seen in children and uh, if it's not treated, you can have progressive problems as an adult. So we like to see these children early and make an appropriate diagnosis and start treatment. Probably the most common cause in children is an infection as a neonate or a young child that leads to the growth plate being destroyed. The growth plate is where your limbs grow from. And uh, for instance, in the leg, 80% of the length of the leg comes from the growth plates at the knee. So if the uh, uh, knee growth plates are damaged, you're gonna be, have a very significant leg length difference. But again, infection is the most common. Uncommon causes would be a fracture or trauma that led to injury of the growth plate or a tumor that led to resection or removal of the growth plate due to a malignant tumor. At least what we see here, it's pretty equally divided between congenital and post-infectious. Uh, but we, because we have a large limb deficiency clinic here, we see a lot of children here that have congenitally short femur or shortness of the tibia or fibula that leads to significant leg length problems. There's always several treatment options that we tell our patients. The first one is do nothing. You know, some patients would rather not have shoe lifts or things like that. Uh, the next treatment option is shoe lifts. Uh, once you get to a large enough shoe lift, that kind of becomes impractical. But certainly in younger children, you don't operate on them right away. Uh, you would do something non-operative like shoe lift. Um, you could shorten the long side. So if you are, usually that's for leg length differences of about two inches or less. Uh, it's a relatively minor procedure to stop the growth plate of the opposite knee to allow the short side to catch up and that has to be well timed. Uh, the other option is to lengthen the short leg and uh, that's done for leg length discrepancies over two inches or five centimeters uh, and there's multiple ways that that can be done. If you're over 20, 25 centimeter uh, leg length discrepancy, or if you have a hip joint that's not formed, a knee joint that's not formed, then you'd be more likely a candidate for an amputation with prosthesis fitting. We're starting to do some of the uh, more innovative, uh, we are doing uh, some of the new newer innovative techniques like magnetically driven lengthening nails. So if you have a straight leg length inequality where you don't have to correct a big angular deformity. You can insert nails within the bone uh, and then cut the bone and then slowly distract the bone uh, using an external uh, magnet that drives a motor in the nail. Uh, it's a only been out in the last five, six years and we've had good success with it. The other way we uh, will do uh, limb lengthening is with external fixators, which you still have to do in certain patients that have a lot of angular or other deformities.